Hey Jammers, it's me, the Real Kazulu, and today I'm going to be telling you how to work with layers. So, first of all, um, I'll name this layer the Good Copy, because I'm going to draw something. And, okay, you see here, when I double click it, it's going to be different. So I'll call this a draft, and you can select if it's a draft layer or not. That's what layers are. So, first of all, you draw the draft. So I'm going to delete good copy for now. And so basically, the, the draft. I'm going to make a heart. Well, I have, I made my special, I made a special pen called sketch pen. And I call it sketch pen because it's my sketch pen. So that draft is there, right? So if you click this dot, then the, and the copy will disappear or reappear. So basically, look at this. If I click the dot, then the thing I've drawn on it will go away. So, first of all, then I'm going to get my pen and I'm going to trace over it, which is basically my good, my good copy. Then when I'm finished, I can just delete the draft and get my real copy. So that's how you work with layers. There's also protect alpha, which I've already told you, and lock, which I've already told you too. Clipping is just basically, I'm not sure, but yeah. I think clipping is just deleting it or something, but I'm not sure. But anyways, that's how you work with layers. It's pretty easy, right? Yeah, so bye! Hey Jammers, it's me, the Real Kinlulu. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use these tools on the side, if you see. This is kind of the pencil or the brush thing or the draw thing, whatever you call it. This is the eraser, which only erases things on the layer. So basically, if I go to layer 2, I draw something over here, and then put under something, I can only erase, like if I go back to layer 1 and I try to erase my stuff, I can only erase the things on the layer. But if I go back to layer 2, I can only erase this purple line. So then there's this dot tool, which allows you to do dots everywhere. So as you can see, I'm going to do a comparison on my navigator. Okay, so basically, it's a dot every time. But then, if I make my brush the smallest I can be, oh, it does two dots every time. And it's really hard to make it, like, just the color you want. You have to press it, like, several times like this. So, like, if you use a dot tool, you press it once, and it turns into the color you want. But if you use the brush tool, you have to press it several times to get it to the proper color. Then you can use the uh, the this tool which is basically moving everything you have on your layer. Then there's this tool where you can make polygons and not just polygons, everything gones. But yeah, then you double click when you're done and it fills in the whole shape. Except for the places of the other layer. Again. Except, like, if you put it under, then the layer is gone. But if you put it on top, then the layer is above. So then there's the paint bucket tool, which I think all of you know already. Then there's the eclipse tool. So if you check that, it'll be like that. If you check like this, it'll be like that. If you try like this, it'll be like that. And if you go like this, it'll be like that. Basically, this is like kind of the red color wheel. You can, you can select anywhere from this spot because it's all different shades everywhere. So then there's this tool which lets you select the rectangle, I guess. Color on the rectangle only, I guess. I guess you drag, drag with your tool, drag the rectangle away. Drag there or something. You take this tool. And yeah, that's it. You don't want anything anymore. So basically, you could just steal everything. You could just steal something from the place. And you could just take it over there. So, and then this is select so Obviously, everyone knows that. Select what you have. Well, I don't know what this is. It's just something. This is the eyedropper. Come on, it does select what you found. Ugh! Ugh, oh 
Oh well. Yeah, it, and then the other one is select what you have released. I don't care about this. Jeez. Then the, this is the eyedropper tool, which takes the color. I know it's red, but the, it's because of this stupid thing. And then this, this is the text tool, which creates a new layer. Then this is just the hand tool, which you can use everything, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's it. Bye.